Danger Dolan. From superheroes that can only pick up radio, to people that can only teleport very small distances, we count 15 incredibly useless comic book characters ever to waste their presence on your eyeballs. Number 15. Dog Welder. This one is owned by DC Comics, part of Garth Ennis' Hitman series, and Dog Welder is one member of a superhero gang known as Section 8. Most of their members have crazy powers like this one guy who gets his strength from drinking liquor, but Dog Welder takes the cake. His ability is to weld dogs to a person's face. That's it! That's how he fights crime. He full on whips out a blowtorch and welds a dog onto a dude's face. Because, I mean, without dogs, a blowtorch is useless, surely. Number 14. Almighty Dollar. This was created by Buzz Dixon, Mike DiCarlo, and Jose Delbo, a character named Jay Pennington Pennypacker, who attends a self-esteem camp and ends up with a superpower from a mad scientist. What can he do? Well, he can shoot money out of his wrist. But not just money, pennies, one cent coins. Apparently his superpower is so worthless that countries like Australia don't even recognize the thing he attacks enemies with. Number 13. Cypher, a Marvel creation for the X-Men lineup. You might have heard of him, he's the guy who can translate things. That's his superpower. He would crop up every so often to read some ancient text or read some body language. Pretty much so worthless that Marvel killed him off, and then brought him back to life with some slightly more useful powers, then killed him again, and then brought him back again. He's that superhero you bring back to life every time you can't read the label of a tin of baked beans, then immediately kill so that you don't have to deal with him anymore. Number 12. Red B. This guy first appeared in the 1940s, not by Marvel or DC, but Quality Comics, later bought by DC. His powers were to attack people with trained bees and a stinger gun, and he proved so popular that no company bought license to own him, and he actually entered public domain. So now anyone can continue the adventures of Rick Relay, the Red Bee. You'll have lots of fun explaining why he keeps his favorite bee named Michael inside his belt buckle to be used only for special circumstances. I'm looking forward to it. Number 11. Skate Man. You know those times you create a comic book character so fantastic that it gets cancelled after one issue? Meet Skate Man, who has no superpowers and whose only defining traits are that he has a scarf on his face and fights crime on roller skates. In 1990, Kitchen Sink Press awarded this single issue as the worst comic of the past 25 years, which I feel is undeserved since it allows me to live out my fantasy about doing stupid things for no reason. Number 10. The Legion of Super Pets. You might have heard about Crypto the Super Dog, who Jor-El, Superman's father, sent from Krypton before it exploded in a test rocket to make sure it worked. But did you also know that he also sent a monkey called Beppo in another test rocket too? The Super Pet Legion also contains Streaky the Super Cat, who was infected with X-Kryptonite that apparently gives animals Superman's powers. Additionally, you have Comet the Super Horse, who can transform into a human and make love to Supergirl once a year before he becomes her pet horse again. All of them wear capes and follow orders from Superman. This is actually a thing. Number 9. Squirrel Girl, 1992, Marvel. You know you've run out of ideas when you literally take the traits of a forest animal, give them to a character, and call it a superpower. Squirrel Girl can talk to squirrels, and she has squirrel-like abilities, and she can tell squirrels to do stuff. Also, she looks somewhat like a squirrel. She was a member of the Great Lakes Avengers, and now she sometimes acts as a nanny for Luke Cage while attending NCU. She's pretty nuts, ah ha ha. Number eight. Razorback. This is like Squirrel Girl, but worse, and he looks like someone trying to dress up as a character from Dota 2. He first appears in the Spectacular Spider-Man, a man that dresses up like a pig to fight crime. That's right, he doesn't even have pig-like powers, he just wears the headpiece and that's his thing. But he does have a superpower, oh yes, he can drive any vehicle. A pig that can drive any vehicle. I've tried thinking about whether it's a metaphor, or it symbolizes car drivers, but no! It's just a damn pig that can drive any car. Well done. Number 7. Mata Eater Lad. This one made it into the Legion of Superheroes, part of DC's lineup of teens from the 31st century. This guy barely made it in with a technicality. His power is that he can eat any substance like bricks, doors, and vegetables without dying. That's it. He can't fight. He has no other powers, he can just eat things and not die. 
I want you to think about the practicality for one second. Other superheroes can punch through locked doors, melt warheads with their eyeballs, but this ass clown can do nothing but eat things and not die. Under what circumstance is that useful? Number six, Infectious Lass. Here's one that did not make it into the Legion of Superheroes, an alien from the planet Somter, where everyone is a walking infectious disease. Her superpower is that she makes people feel sick when she shows up. She is the epitome of germ warfare. While she can aim and control her infectiousness, she usually accidentally hits her allies anyway. So much that she's really not worth taking anywhere unless you just need a day off school. Number five, Doorman. This is a superhero that sounds like a, a joke on paper, but when you really think about it, you realize it is a joke. Doorman can teleport people anywhere in the world they want to go, but only if it's into the next room over, which is useful under one scenario. Someone can't get into a room because it's locked or something. The rest of the time, Doorman just sits around waiting for someone to ask him to move somewhere slightly which can be nothing but a highly sought after profession. Number four, Ulysses Solomon Archer. This guy was involved in an accident that ended his brother's life, where his head was crushed and now he seeks revenge on the trucker that did it. His superpower comes from the new skull, the amazing situation changing ability to pick up CB radio transmissions. He uses his radical power to hunt the truck driver and the comic ends after 12 issues and so ends the glorious saga of this guy that can pick up a radio, which, you know, he could do with various gadgets anyway. Number three, Maggot. This guy is like the Hulk, but unnecessarily handicapped by the fact his digestive system consists of two slugs, and the only way he can acquire his super strength is for the slugs to leave his body, gather nutrients, and return. Other superheroes can, you know, summon great strength by thinking about it, but I guess waiting for your slug intestines to slurp up some power juice works as well. Number two, Bouncing Boy, a kid that can inflate himself to such a point that he becomes like an elastic bouncy ball. For a long time, other superheroes thought him a pointless waste of space until one day, ho ho, he proved them wrong. He could in fact bowl over enemies with his great bounciness and thus prove himself on par with Batman and the rest, clearly. Number one, Arm Fall Off Boy. His name accurately describes his power to tear off his own arm and beat up enemies with it. That's it. That's all he can do. His superpower is essentially a disability. A lot of children these days strive to be like Superman or Batman, but every so often a kid comes along and says, when I grow up, I want to tear my own arm off and club people to death with it which is admittedly better than turning to drugs. That is it for this countdown. Have a go!